Tom. Hello and welcome to a brand new week. Uh, so, um, it's around like 2 p.m. I'd say. And uh, the main thing I want to get done this week is... You can see that I kind of have a temporary setup for like my office here and whatnot. This is basically just how I left it in its state after I'd finished recording uh, uh, Monopoly with the uh, rest of the Derp crew. <clears throat> Excuse me, I've got a little uh, little throat thing going on right now. But uh, hopefully by the end of this week, it'll look a little bit more presentable. Uh, my goal, so like I can kind of tell you like the, the, what I want to have as for the, for like the final. Desk is there, that's pretty much going to be finally where it is. I want to have a TV stand right here, and that's where I'm going to place like all the consoles, like on the shelves below, like where a TV stand would be. And then a couch here, and then the back wall is going to be lined with shelves that'll, um, that will uh, uh, have like all my collectibles and my games on them. <clears throat> so that way, whenever I need to pull something out for like fortune cookie or something, I could just go back there, grab it, and then be done with it. Try to make things a little bit easier. Uh, I have one shelf, but it's not very good at for holding a, a lot of like small things because there'd be a lot like a lot of leftover space. I had to like stack things on the shelves, and it wasn't easily accessible. You can also see the uh, internet situation I got going on here with the the long cable that's going over the the uh, balcony there, which is dropping down into the living room uh, into the uh, the the Google, Google Fiber box. <clears throat> so I ordered a uh, a thing. That will be able to allow me to run the internet through the uh, the power lines, probably through either that one or the there's another one on the other side of that, and uh, just try to make that work out. I also ordered a big power strip so that way I could plug in all my consoles at the same time without having to worry about uh, running out and like switching and whatnot. So uh, yeah, the other two things I want to do today. Well, actually, there's only really one main thing I want to do today, and that's to find this house's mailbox. In a neighborhood like this, uh, it's not that each house is a mailbox, it's that there's like a, uh, a uh, I guess, congregation? Not sure what the right term is for it. But like uh, a bunch of mailboxes that are like together in one area. And I am having so much trouble finding mine. I, I think there might be like more than one of them here because I found where some of the mailboxes are. But my, but like the number for it, for like that that the landlord gave me wasn't on there. So maybe there's like another mailbox around here that has that number. I don't know. Obviously, I'm not gonna say the number because that's how people get doxxed. Anywho, uh, we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I'll find the mailbox. Hopefully, uh, some of the stuff will come. Oh, well, it won't come today because it's Sunday. But uh, hoping to get this set up good enough for me to be able to stream with the green screen. Uh, and considering the light is up there, probably going to have to attach some uh, some uh, uh, command strips up there and just put the uh, dangling lights I usually have up there on there. Hopefully make up for a better lighting situation. So let's see how that goes. It is 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. On, on Monday morning. And I uh, just wanted to give a bit of an update on what the, uh, what the room looks like. It pretty much looks the exact same. But I did clean up some stuff with the wires in the back. Uh, I started using, you can see a couple of them out here, some twist ties to keep some of the cables together. I'm trying to learn good cable management, guys. That way, not everything is a horrible, horrible, horrible mess. So, uh, yeah. More of the week as it goes on. And now it's actually Monday, as opposed to the very, very early morning of Monday. Uh, today in the docket, I'm going to head down to downtown, maybe get a little bit of footage there. The, the re main reason I'm going, uh, and usually the main reason I go to downtown in general, is to play Pokemon Go. Uh, today is the last possible day to be able to catch Groudon, and that is the and that is a uh, Pokemon that I'm missing. Probably catch Kyogre while I'm down there too. Hopefully people are willing to cooperate. Last time I had a lot of trouble getting people to, to uh, do a raid of a legendary Pokemon when another legendary Pokemon had just come out. And I know what some of you are going to be saying, it's like, oh, it's a dead game, why bother playing it? Well, its popularity doesn't dictate the way I play, and it's a huge Pokemon Go community here in Austin. So, like, I don't know, I still enjoy the game, a lot of other people still enjoy the game, so why bog people down about whether or not it's popular, you know? But, uh, get some, uh, hopefully get some good footage of downtown. Uh, I use my phone to record, so I can't really record myself playing Pokemon Go, so, you know... So kind of the mission status on Pokemon Go here, uh, 50% success rate. I got Kyogre, so that's good. Uh, Miss Groundhog though. 
and uh, no more Groudon are going to be spawning for quite a while. So not entirely sure what I'm going to do about that. Uh, heading back to the car now to head back home. Um, I'm on a high traffic bridge right now, so pardon that. When, uh, but like when I was walking over to do one of the raids, uh, basically like this guy wouldn't stop following me unless I donated to charity. And basically I just, I, I, in order to like get away from him, I had to give in and like donate monthly. So I don't mind giving to charity. Just let me do it on my own terms. So basically like, I don't want to take away from the charity, but I'm almost, but just because of how that guy basically harassed me until I donated, I'm tempted to just like call my bank and tell him that this was like an, uh, an unwarranted charge and just like get the, get the money back. It was just, it was awful. Like it was, it's like, you shouldn't do that. Like I understand why they feel they have to do that, but you shouldn't do that for, ch uh, for charity. Like that's, I don't know. It's, it's a, it's a big gray area, but it's not respectable. I can tell you that much. But anyway, uh, heading back, like I said, heading back to the car and uh, probably see you guys uh, at home when I start decide to start streaming. All right, it is now around like, I don't know, it's close to 11 p.m. Uh, Central Time right now. I just finished streaming, uh, getting over it with Bennett Foddy. I'm also a little bit intoxicated, sort of recovering from, uh, from drinking a bit. So I just wanted to show you guys uh, progress I've made with the room. Uh, it doesn't look like much at the moment, but to come over here, uh, I bought this, uh, this Powerline network adapter. And what this is supposed to do is be able to transfer a gigabit of data between uh, another one of these I have hooked up downstairs. Uh, right now it's only transferring at around maybe 100 up, 100 down which isn't terribly bad, but the fact that I'm losing out on an entire gigabit from doing that is kind of silly. So I'm gonna see if I can check with their their um, tech support on that one. Also, getting over with Bennett Foddy is really hard. Uh, I think I like may have gone through the same area like five times uh, just because I fell like constantly. You might be able to see here, I'm watching the, the Yu-Gi-Oh! Zexel Marathon on Twitch. Um, I don't know what inspired that. Probably intoxication. But I'm watching it. Anyway, uh, I'm going to check with their tech support to see like what the deal is with that. Maybe it's like a power line issue or something like that. Because honestly, I'd rather have wireless internet if that's the case. Because the wireless internet tends to work better uh, with data transfer than uh, this... Uh, this power line converter thing. So I don't like I said. I don't know if it's the product itself or if it's the the wiring in the house that's not allowing for a gigabit to come through there. We'll see though. Hopefully we will see. Hello. It is Tuesday. Uh, a little hungover from last night from the the stream I did of the getting over it with Bennett Foddy. Um, about to head out to run some errands, pick up some uh, some groceries and stuff to help me feel better because I am a little bit sick as well. Uh, it kind of snowed last night, but it's like a gentle, there's not, there's nothing on the ground right now. Like maybe some cars and a little bit of grass is like covered in snow, but I guess in Texas that's considered the end of the world because I tried to go to the grocery store. I think I mentioned this last night. I tried to go to the grocery store and the lines were just like out the door. I don't remember if I actually mentioned it or not, but uh, yeah, gonna do that. Gonna set up more of the stuff for the, for like the, the, the office and whatnot. If we come into here, we still got all these boxes that I need to move. I took out some of the Amiibos because I was looking for a specific console when we were doing Monopoly. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully the day will go well. I can stream, get some stuff edited, get the get last week's vlog edited as well, but you'll definitely see that before you'll see this. And uh, yeah. All right, so update on moving everything into the office. I pretty much moved everything into the office. That is uh, my collectibles. You can see over there, all my games, my consoles, uh, the Amiibos and the plushes, plus like some other stuff over here as well. Um, that will eventually be distributed onto shelves. The consoles, like I said before, I want to put a TV stand right here. Have all the consoles be laid on that. 
And uh, the games, games and collectibles and Amiibos will all be on shelving that I get for the back wall here. I still have this card table. I'm not sure exactly what I'm going to do with it yet. I do need to find storage space for a lot of these boxes once I'm done unpacking them. But hopefully, you know, <clears throat> excuse me, we are, at least I am, slowly, I feel like I'm slowly turning this house into a home. So at least there's that. That's good. So there's that. Uh, currently it's on screensaver mode right now, but I'm uh, in the process of editing last week's vlog and uh, uh, a stream highlight bit from uh, the two weeks prior because I didn't stream that much during that time. Magfest and whatnot, plus the move. Whew. So yeah, tomorrow is Wednesday, hump day. So let's buckle in, get some more stuff done, and hopefully start making this house be a little bit more homey. Yeah, homey, not homely. Homey's the bad one. It is Wednesday, hump day, and first thing right off the docket is I am going to uh, the gym. Uh, I bought some, uh, some protein powder and some stuff to mix in to make uh, smoothies with. So uh, I started taking that, took the first one this morning, and I'm full of energy. I feel, uh, I feel sprightly and spry, and now I'm going to the gym to try and burn off some of this energy and uh, get back in shape. I, this is the first time I've gone since I've been sick. So uh, I'm slightly getting over the issues. I still got sort of like stuffy nose and whatnot, so hopefully that won't affect it too much. Um, however, you'll either see a very proud Tom or a very dead Tom in the next few seconds, uh, depending on how well this run goes. I still managed to get, uh, three miles under 30 minutes. It was hard. It was really hard. But, uh, yeah, aside from that, just gotta keep going. Clear out the, clear out the phlegm, get, get, get better, get, get well, and then uh, I'll be able to shoot for my peak, which was three miles in 28 minutes. Uh, I pushed myself a little bit harder in the beginning. I ran for, usually what I'll do is I'll run for a mile, which at my pace is uh, eight minutes for the mile, but uh, this time I ran for nine minutes at the same pace, so I probably could have gone a little bit farther if I'd paced myself out a little bit better. Let's think about running. It's, you sort of have to analyze, like, how much energy can you use now and still have the energy to push yourself later in order to get the fastest possible time? So, you know, try to make the that, you know, assumption in your head beforehand. I could probably have, maybe I could like change up the pacing a little bit so that way I uh, rest a little bit more often, but that'll allow me to run at higher speeds for longer time uh, later on. Uh, tomorrow, if uh, well enough, I should be coming back to the gym to do legs and the day after that arms. It is, uh, today's Thursday. Yes, today's Thursday. Um, not a lot really going on today. All I really, well, nothing really happened today, which is why I haven't really vlogged yet. It's like 5.30 p.m., so, you know. Uh, but basically, all I've really done is, uh, I woke up, I called the post office because I'm not sure where my mailbox is, and, uh, was just on hold for, like, an hour. And at that point, I'm just like, I give up. So I went down to like where the, the mailboxes are and uh, there are two that my key can open. One of them clearly isn't mine because it's still getting someone else's mail. But I opened up the other one and there was mail t that went to my address. And I'm like, this has to be it. That, that has to be the, the mailbox. There's like a little slip in there that was like vacant, don't deliver mail here, yada, yada, yada. Put it back with the names of the people that are getting mail there. So I did that. And uh, so I think, my, I think the mailbox situation is settled. Uh, hopefully it won't come to the, to a, a head where I go there one day, open it up, and there's like five other people's mail in there that are at other addresses. Uh, so there's that. Uh, other than that, I went to the gym, uh, did legs and abs today. Uh, that was mainly, that was mainly, a, a, a slow day. I, I think I did pretty well on legs, but in terms of abs, I was, I, I just like, I took it pretty easy. Tomorrow's arms, so, uh, get that done. On top of that, uh, Child's in town. So, uh, once, uh, once I figure out what he's doing, I think that he, Gom, and I are going to hang out. Maybe Jess as well. Gotta maybe buy them dinner as a congratulations for them, uh, for, for them getting engaged. But, uh, aside from that, uh, probably going to stream tonight as well. It's Thursday, so it's Kingdom Hearts tonight. So we'll see how that goes. I don't know how late I'm going to be out, so I might have to, might have to put a damper on the stream there a little bit. Maybe postpone to Friday. So I'm out at dinner, and uh, look who look look who's here. 
It's the, the, the two newly engaged. Oh engaged my God. Ooh, and here's my drink. This is a, this is a lightning blue, a lightning blue beverage. Thank you very much. Make sure I browse the dish, is that okay? Yeah, yes, please. So, we're officially, we're stuck together. Uh, she said yes. I uh, I made sure, I, I actually confirmed. I asked her and then I was like, really? You, you do? <laughs> so that was a, uh, no, 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 no. Why is it so bad? Well, um, you know what? Long and happy marriage. Thank you. Pickers. Oh, that's I forgot. When did we were actually. Uh, I spilled some of my drink on my lap. No, me too. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, the guy just complimented your sweatshirt, huh? <laughs> look, look, it'll come out in the wash. Did you really steal that from your brother? Yes. Okay, at least that's a truthful story. Uh, no, I, when we were when we were talking, when I was proposing, it was it was an awkward proposal because the cops drove by. Uh, oh. she, she said they were gonna take me away. It was like, what were they? Like scooter cops? They were they were like there was a real, it was NYPD. It was NYPD, but like like the Central Park NYPD. So like. I don't know what they can do. Was they the had... horseback ones? No, no, they were in like the, the meter made cars. Oh, okay. But they had guns. So that meant that they were official. Oh. Uh, and, and they stopped by and they were nice. But the one thing I said, and I, just, I wasn't even thinking, because you get, you get so flustered. Uh, I was like, the last four years have been so great. I hope for another great four years. <laughs> just, that's, like, that's a bad moment. So if we make it past eight years together, perfect. That's, all, that's what we're going for. Because I, I, I said a bad omen on eight. But no, we're, we're excited. And we're, there we're, we we're sharing that in Texas with you guys. I don't know what to, what to say after that story. So just got back from uh, dinner with uh, Chilled and Jess. Uh, that was a lot of fun. Gom and Goon stopped by a little later. We were originally gonna go with Gom, but uh, he, had, uh, he had napped a little bit too long. So, you know, at least he made it. And we all sat around talking, laughing, having a good time. But tomorrow is Friday, which means that we get to go pick up Z from the airport. Because yes, he is moving in. We've uh, we've been over this before. He's moving in with me. He moves in uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow being Friday the 19th. Sorry, Pokemon Go thing happened. Um, so yeah, uh, Gom and I are gonna go down and pick him up. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna bring him back here, get him situated, and maybe go out for another meal. You'll see. I'll know. You'll know. I won't. I don't know now, but you'll know when you see this video. Maybe it is Friday, and. Uh, Gomb and I are here in a parking garage because we are here at the airport to pick up Z. Today is the day he's moving in. Gomb, how do you feel about that? About Z moving down? Yeah. It's exciting. It is exciting. We already know that, that Chilled's here temporarily, so we got the whole crew together. Who knows what exciting things we'll do, just the four of us. For now, though, our plan is to pick up Z, get him settled in, I just had to struggle looking at the fucking bins, figuring out which one was recycled. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna pick up Z, get him settled in, and like get some uh, some supplies for him, like uh, because he doesn't have much right now. It's so maybe like an air mattress or something, so he'll actually be able to sleep on something that isn't a floor. Are you gonna get actual groceries? Maybe, maybe I'll get actual groceries. <laughs> He's here. Oh my god. We got him! We're not gonna do the bag over the head? No, we're not gonna. <laughs> we're not gonna. We're, 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 planning, <laughs> we're planning on making it look like we had kidnapped him. <laughs> just put, a, put your jacket on. Put your jacket on, on over here. There you go. Oh, just something like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You better close your ears, too. We can't tell you where we are. It's probably not the best oh, thing. Not <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, not in an airport <laughs> parking garage. <laughs> So next step, uh, we're gonna go back to uh, the house and then get him situated, get some stuff at, at Walmart so he'll have a place to sleep at the very least until the rest of his stuff gets here. That's a lie, but I'm not gonna say anything. Mm -hmm. So, last bit of vlogging for the day. It's like 10 p.m. Z's here. We're both exhausted. He's gotta get some work done, but I'm going to bed early. Didn't end up streaming. Tomorrow I'll end up streaming earlier. And then the four of us, me, Z, Chilled, and Gong, are gonna hang out. Maybe record some stuff. Maybe stream some stuff. Who knows? You already know by the time this comes out, so. Yeah. Uh, so it's 10 p.m. on Saturday. Whoops. I sort of forgot to vlog today. Uh, I had some, some good times here. Uh, uh, brain, uh, 
chilled Z Gulm and I went to uh, went to Cheddar's and uh, we finally did it. We finally got our, our monster cookie, which was uh, which was delicious. It was very good. Uh, I ate a little bit too much, so I'm a bit sluggish. If you can't really tell by my manner of speech, I uh, streamed a little bit today, and aside from that, that was really it. Mostly like lazed around a bit. I'm still kind of in recovery mode, recovery mode because uh, this past week has been a uh, kind of tiring. I'm just gonna walk into here and turn on a light. But uh, anyway, uh, next week should be uh, just trying to get back in the swing of things. Uh, getting all that done. Uh, I'm sorry I didn't get any footage of the restaurant, but to make up for it, I did take a video of, uh, of a fish that was uh, nomming its way on the glass of its aquarium, so enjoy that. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys next week. Later!